just a short video about electric cellos when they are bought online because they are cheap and the specifications sound good. For example, this cello that we traded in yesterday was purchased for a small amount and uh, the specifications sounded great. It has an ebony fingerboard. That's very rare for a cheap cello. It's, it's actually ebony. It's not painted black timber. And the pegs, even the pegs are ebony. That's quite, quite amazing if you list this on your specifications. The nut where the strings go into the peg box are not ebony. You can see this because where the, where the grooves are, there's uh, the, the light timber comes through. So that's, that's not ebony, but you know, otherwise not bad. Again, another good feature is interestingly this uh, a tailpiece. It's made out of carbon fiber. Normally they are made out of cheap aluminium. That's amazing. And the bridge that's on it is properly curved. The curve is correct. So somebody <laughs> tried to at least have the right shape there. And it has a preamp which is quite common for items that come from China. I don't know if you can see it. It says uh, HVPV30. So that's an average pickup. It's commonly used and it's not, it's not great, but it's not really bad. So why are we not happy with this channel? It is not usable. The reason being that the fingerboard points way too low, which leads to a action which is way too high. The specifications here on the A string should be four millimeters for a steel string. The distance between the a string and the fingerboard. Now here it is 20, 20 millimeters, not four. And on the C string, the lower string, the, spe uh, the specifications for the clearance are six millimeter for a steel string. And these are all chrome steel strings. And in this case, also 20 millimeters. That means I can actually put my hand through here. Yeah. Uh, so much clearance and if somebody wants to play it is an incredible effort to push the strings down not to mention the change in pitch because if the clearance is too high and you push the strings down the tension increases and therefore the pitch will be a little higher. It is not usable. The other thing is that uh, although the bridge is put in the right place just on top of the pickup sensor, the fingerboard is pointing quite a bit to the right, which leads to the fact that the strings are too close to this side. So there's a lot of space here between the C string and the edge of the fingerboard and there's virtually no space left between the A string and the fingerboard edge up here. So you can see that the fingerboard wasn't fitted well. It is pointing too low, but it goes very much to one side.
picture that's what happens if people who produce these things really don't perhaps know what they're doing or they don't care because a few hundred dollars is still money and you could do something better with that money thank you Thank you.